I'm just gonna throw away my Sephora receipt so I don't feel like a bad person. Hey y'all, it's me, Alex. Today I have a little haul video for y'all. This is a, like a more of a collective haul. I didn't buy all of this at once. This stuff I've kind of gotten over the past month. I got stuff from Walmart, the drugstore, and also I went to Sephora this last Saturday with my friend Casey, and I have now officially hit VIB status, which is exciting because now I can actually get discounts, but also it means I've spent a lot of money at Sephora. But anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the drugstore stuff. I got this from Walmart. I needed to get more of my Not Your Mother's Beach Babe hairspray. I am so happy I have this again because my hair is getting long and if it's long it needs to have like some sort of texture so it isn't just one mass of blonde. So I am very happy and this smells so good. That was not an attractive noise that came out of my mouth. Another thing I got from Walmart was this Yes to Carrots Nourishing Daily Moisture Body Lotion. I got it, it's on, it was on sales for $7 just because the packaging doesn't look good. It feels really good on my skin. It smells like carrots, like I don't know why I wasn't expecting that because it is Yes to Carrots, but it smells more like carrots than I thought it would. It's very light and moisturizing though and I quite like it. Uh, this is one that I've tried and I will automatically tell you I do not like this. It is the Hard Candy Mechanical Gel Liner, the Stay In Line one in Midnight. Now it's Mechanical Gel Eyeliner and I love Mechanical Eyeliners and I love Gel Liner so it's like great! And it was just like, it's a blue eyeliner so you know, I that means I'm trying new things. But look at this. There is the pigmentation is not nice and I tried to put it on my eyes when I got back and I felt like I had to stab myself in the eye in order to get it to work and I'm a really big fan of not stabbing myself in the eye trying to put on makeup. So I'm gonna keep searching for a nice blue eyeliner. I'm thinking I might get one of the Kat Von D ink liners since I already like her black one. But the search continues. I also got this Milani um, eyebrow, it's a stay put brow color, this stuff is already wearing off of it but it is so good. It's in natural taupe, it comes with a little double endy brush and spoolie thing. It's what I have on my eyebrows and I really really love it because it's like light enough so that it's in between my natural hair color and my bleached hair color. So it blends it really really nicely and it has like cool undertones and it makes my brows really defined to the point where I can now do that like thing that makes you look like a Disney villain where you raise one eyebrow like and that makes me really really happy although some people have informed me that I'm a bit more of a Disney princess than a Disney villain whatever the last thing I got from the drugstore I'm gonna include this in my favorites video too because I've had it long enough it is the hard candy fast and fabulous makeup setting spray I wore this and it's amazing. I'm gonna do a bit more in depth on my favorites video. I don't know if I'll post that before or after this. I don't, I don't know, but it's so good. It was only like $7. And I bought this because I was running out of my Urban Decay one. And as much as I love that, I didn't want to spend that amount of money. They're people. Um, but it's really, really good and it doesn't like make my mel makeup melt off my face and I'm always worried about hard candy because sometimes like their stuff is formulated just in a way that makes people break out and I always get a lot of bad reviews from that but this one is really really good. Now on to the stuff I got from Sephora. This I actually bought a few days before I did like a big Sephora thing because I was in desperate need of this. It's the Kat Von D ink liner. Like I was just like, I should wait until I go to do a big thing. But I was just but I was just sitting there doing my eyeliner that morning and I was just like, it's drying out and it's so depressing. But I got this in the shade Trooper. Um y'all have seen this in like a million and a half of my videos, even though I don't have that many videos. And y'all know that this is my go-to liquid liner, because I don't like brush e-liners that you have to dip in because it and put it on and that scares me um and this is what I have as my liner today and I'm so happy to have it back the Sephora lady went through a lot of trouble to find this one for me so thank you the next thing I got which I'm probably the most excited about this is the Naked Smoky palette like my mom and I were in Ulta on 
a couple weeks ago and I was looking and she and I were looking around and I was telling her that I really wanted to get one of the naked palettes but I didn't know which one to get because I'm not a neutral person and we were looking through all of them and she was like that one's too warm that one's just meh you wouldn't wear all those rose golds and then I showed her this one and I was just like well look at the colors in this one and she's just like yes you must get that one and that's what I have on my eyes today. I'm wearing um, Dagger, Armor, Black Market, Smolder, High, and 13. Oh, and Whiskey as well. It's a very complicated eye look, and y'all are going to see a lot of looks from me with this because it's really, really cool, and it looks so good, and I'm so excited. The next thing I got was also from Urban Decay. It's their Naked Skin. I'm also wearing this right now and it is so nice because it's actually like one of those really nice lightweight foundations but it gives me really good coverage like i have a lot of redness in this area and i only have to do like one layer of this to cover that up which has never happened with basically any other foundation i've ever tried and i've only been wearing this for a couple days so now i so i'm not going to be able to give you all a full review yet but expect that from me in the very near future because I want to do this. Oh, oh, and it's in the shade 3.5. The last thing from Urban Decay that I got was their Revolution Lipstick in F-Bomb. Um, again, this was something that my mom kind of helped me find. Look how pretty that is. It is the perfect red. Um, but we were looking at lipsticks in Ulta as well, and I was showing her that I was thinking about this one, and she said that it would look good on me. My mom is very good at confirming whether or not something would look good on me. And it's kind of the shade that my Nana always wore, although hers was Revlon, so it's not cruelty free. And so I've, I've been trying for a really long time to find a very similar shade to what my Nana always wore because I, she had like that red lipstick all the time and I absolutely loved it. So, and I wore this yesterday to church and it is so nice and I love it. I love it. All right, two more things. The next thing is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I've tried their Size Queen mascara before, and a few of my friends, Allison and Rachel, who I'll link both of their channels to because they're both wonderful, um, I was talking to both of them about like mascaras and how I really wanted to try some new ones because I've been stuck. As If you've seen my videos, you know I've been stuck in my Positions Formula Sexy Booster Cat Eyes thing and so I've tried this and I've been wearing this for the past couple days now and this is so wonderful like I love their size queen mascara just because I love the huge brush and now I'm so happy that I decided to try this because it is just so nice and fluttery and perfect Yee. the last thing I got was a Kat Von D metal crush eyeshadow in the shade Iggy and I am so excited about this as I am with like most things that I got but um, this one I got because I don't wear a lot of green. I mean, I know I'm wearing this right now, but I don't wear like a lot of green on my face. And swatch time. That's gorgeous. Um, I saw the shade in store and I, well, it's described online as a mermaid green, which I mean, honestly, since we've never seen mermaids, how do we know that that's what they look like? And also they're probably way, way, way deep down in the ocean if we've never actually seen them. And so they won't need to have any sort of pigmentation because they don't reach light. So they don't need that. Anyway, that's my theory on mermaids. If you want to know more about that, you won't get to know. Um, but I am really, really excited about this because like I saw it online and it was just like, ooh, that might actually be a decent looking green on me cause, just because it's hard to find ones that do look good. And then I tried it on in store and I was just like, yes, yes, this is perfect. I want to rub this all over my face. Like I was talking to the Sephora lady, Jenna is her name. If you're in Winchester in Sephora, ask for Jenna because she's awesome. And she was just like, yeah, you can do that as like a little accent color on your eyes if you're not sure about the green. And I was just like, but I don't know. I kind of want to go all in on this. Just like put it everywhere. But I haven't had a chance to wear it on my lids or any place yet just because I've been playing around with my Naked Smoky so much. But this is going to happen, y'all. And you're going to get to see a lot of this from me. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to give this a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos.
more videos like this. And I will see y'all in my next video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye!